A genetic experiment with peas resulted in one sample of offspring that consisted of 424 green peas and 168 yellow peas. Part A, construct a 95% confidence interval. I'm going to write that down, 95%. To estimate the percentage of yellow peas. So what this means is it wants us to give a range of values for the percentage of all yellow peas. That's what a confidence interval is. It's just a range of values. And you see here in the answer, this is the lower limit on the range, and here's the upper limit on the range. We just have to fill in these numbers. 95% means that if we were to do this 100 times, we would take 100 different samples. right? So we would get different numbers here. And so we would get 100 different answers. 95 of our answers are correct. That's what the 95 means. OK, so whenever you have to construct a confidence interval for a percentage or a proportion, you just need two things. You need n, which is the total number of observations, and you need x, which is the total number of successes. The total number of observations is the total number of green peas plus yellow peas. So we do 424 plus 168. You could probably do this in your head, but I'm going to put it in the calculator. Let's see, so 424 plus 168. So 592, that's the total number of observations. Now we need the total number of successes. So we get that by looking at the question. In this question, we want to estimate the percentage of all yellow peas. So the total number of yellow peas is our success, so 168. All right, now we're ready to go. We're ready to find a percentage, um, a range of values on our percentage. So question help, stack crunch. And then we go to stat, proportion stats, one sample with summary. So whenever you're doing confidence intervals for percentages or proportions, you just always go here. So proportions, one sample with summary. Proportions, one sample with summary. All right, I'm going to left click. So successes, that's the x. So they have to give you that in the problem somehow. And then n is the total, so 592. It says hypothesis test for P. That's something we'll do later. So just click confidence interval. And in this case, it's already at 95, so we don't have to change it. So if it was like 99, we would change it to 0.99. Leave the method part alone. And then click compute. And then you see your answers appear here, lower and upper limit. This problem wanted um, three decimals. So I'm going to write three decimals. So using three decimals, I'm going to write the answer using parentheses. 0.2 four seven point three two zero this is how you would write it on paper if you were writing it down okay you would write it with parentheses so it's always lower and upper in parentheses and then so we type them in so point two four seven point three two zero good stuff says, given that the percentage of offspring yellow peas is not 25%, do the results contradict expectations? Okay, maybe we should read part B. Let's see. It was expected that 25% of the peas would be yellow. Okay, so no, there is no contradiction. 25% is between these numbers. So we're okay. So no, the confidence interval includes 0.25. So the true percentage should, could easily equal 25%. That's the perfect answer. Good stuff. Let me show you how to interpret this manually by hand. So if you were going to interpret this, you would start your interpretation by mentioning the confidence level. So you would say with 95% confidence. Okay, with 95% confidence. Then you have to go to the question and describe what you're talking about. You're always talking about a population percentage or a population proportion. So usually the last sentence will give you that. It's right here. Construct a 95% confidence interval to estimate the percentage of yellow peas. So you could just say the percentage of yellow peas, percentage of, really you should say all yellow peas, okay, because it's a population percentage. You could say the population percentage of yellow peas. So the percentage of all yellow peas, and then you always say is between 
always, no matter what. So you start with this. You go to the question, usually the last sentence. Just You can just copy paste, percentage of yellow peas, that works. Then you say is between, and then you go to your answer. So now, it did say percentage in the question, so I'm going to turn these into percentages. So 24.7% and 32%. So that would be a correct interpretation for the confidence interval. So what does this mean? So again, here we have a sample, right? N is the total number, X is the number of successes. We put it into our software and we got a range of values uh, for the percentage of all yellow peas. So 95% means if you do this 100 times, well, you're going to have 100 different samples, so you'll get 100 different answers. 95 of your answers will be correct. That's what 95% confidence means. You might say, well, wait a minute, I already know how many yellow peas there are. What, what good is this? This is for the percentage of all yellow peas, right? This is some experiment conducted under some method. So every time you do the experiment, you're going to get different results. This tells us that the percentage of all yellow peas, so the population percentage of yellow peas, whatever that may be, is somewhere between these two numbers. So this mystical unknown percentage, which is impossible to find, is between these two numbers with 95% confidence. Um, I hope that made sense.